Okay, I went ahead and uh, sanded these four shafts down. This light taper. Uh, you'll notice that uh, the join here is not perfect. But I'm going to wrap thread around that, try to even that out. It doesn't have to be perfect. And uh, while I sanded those, I went ahead and sanded in the knocks. Uh, they're not completely done. All you need though is a little scrap piece of sandpaper to uh, finish these out. Let's see here. I just sanded it down uh, just barely through the wall of the cane so that the uh, finished sanding is pretty straightforward. And it gives me about an eighth of an inch on for the uh, for these knocks for this width here at the end very easy to do these knocks on river king now these are kind of deep but uh, I'd rather have them deep than you know than not There's not much to it. And then I'm going to wrap just above that, so I need to make sure that there's good contact with the glue and the uh, shaft, so I'm roughing that up. I won't do the other ones. Let me just uh, wrap this one here. The sun's creeping in here. Let's see, I think I'll be alright. We have to move my chair here. Add a little glue before I wrap. Thread in a, a coffee mug. Keeps the spool from bouncing around when I'm doing this. gap first wipe off the extra wrap it down, maybe not quite an inch. Turn it this way. Might see it better. I'll stop there to get the idea. I wrap one layer, put some glue on it, let it dry, then wrap the next layer. 
and so on. It usually doesn't need more than two layers. Remove the excess glue. This is a damp rag. Okay, so I'll do that uh, you know two or three times, whatever I feel is enough. Same thing on this. Uh, getting kind of windy. I hope that's not interfering. Do a couple layers of this. You gotta kind of work fast before the glue dries completely. That's why I only do one or two layers at a time. I'll probably wrap another layer around that just to build it up a little more. Pretty easy, straightforward stuff. <laughs> 